Welcome back, and uh, today we're talking about mutations and proteins as part of a process of gene expression, and we'll get to that in just a minute, but as a quick review, remember that mutations uh, can lead to variation in proteins, which is actually the different phenotype. When we have a different protein, that is the beginning level of a different or a change in the phenotype. So here's we have an example, uh, a chondroplasia. This individual has a chondroplasia, which is uh, also called sometimes dwarfism. And that it is uh, that occurs because there is a point mutation. So you remember a point mutation was a change in a specific base. And in this case, uh, the specific change is that G is changed to A in that base. Um, and the result of that is that the protein that is formed uh, when the code is read, the codon is read, um, in the translation process, it would normally read a lysine amino acid, but instead it reads a glycine amino acid. So that specific point mutation in the base results in a different, uh, a different amino acid being produced in that protein. Um, that protein happens to be part of a growth receptor, so it functions differently when glycine is there instead of lysine. Um, the two, these two are, um, this one is polar and basic, this one is neutral, and they behave very differently. So I use the word gene expression. That is a term that means the process that a gene uses to create a product. So what are we talking about here? What processes are being used? Right here I gave a little diagram showing those processes. We have transcription, and you remember that is when the DNA is used to uh, form a strand of RNA. We have translation that happens where RNA code is translated into a string of amino acid chains and then they fold up into the final functioning proteins. So these are the processes that are used uh, by gene expression to create what product? You guys all know proteins, right? Or protein components. So that's what we mean when we talk about gene expression. And remember, these products of gene expression, these proteins, are many different things. We talked um, a little bit last time about they, they regulate metabolism, they regulate cell function, they are the shape and the structure for the organism. And I think it's really kind of amazing that at this molecular level that we're talking about, that is where genotype gives rise to phenotype. The DNA genotype expresses itself in these proteins. It's the very molecular level of the phenotype of the organism. The code that's stored in the D DNA is interpreted by gene expression, and it gives rise to that phenotype. Here's just a little picture showing the, the genotype codes for the phenotype. Just as in our example of, of the man that has a chondroplasia, his genotype, the mutation in that, coded for a chondroplasia and the specific proteins that created that. And lastly, this, the variation in all of these phenotypes, we're talking about different phenotypes, can result in natural selection events. So whether it's uh, your ability to attract a mate or to hide from predators or to survive winter better, those variations in phenotype that are causing some of those benefits um, result in the natural selection of those particular variations um, for the organism. So that's really important to remember. It all comes from the DNA. And let's look at the next page to see what kinds of things you might do for advanced proficiency. You could give an example of a phenotype in some organism that's been chosen in natural selection. You give example of phenotypes that have been chosen against. Um, ex you can explain these phenotypes on a, uh, excuse me, a molecular level, gene expression, 
Uh, you can research specific mutations on a molecular level and explain the phenotypic implication of those. So you may also choose something else that I haven't listed here. Questions that you have, examples or ideas or interesting things that you'd like to research and explain, that would be really exciting. I'd love to hear about, um, about all those things that you find out. Thanks, and we'll see you in class.